I'm a paleobotanist documenting evolutionary trends. When I finished my undergraduate degree, I realised there were two subjects I'd major then. One of them was botany and one was geology, and paleobotany was the only thing that could use both of them. So I said, I'm going to be a paleobotanist. That's what I've been ever since. And that was in the 50s. working in a period of over 150 million years. I've worked in plants of this age in all continents, which includes Antarctica. That's sort of been my niche in life. Normally I would come here four times a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Wednesday, I'll, I'll just do running. I do fun runs sometimes as well. I stopped doing four marathons or probably about 10 years ago. Since then, I've only been doing half marathons or shorter. One of the few things I did this year, because of my health problem, was I took part in the Queen's Baton Relay for the Commonwealth Games. Now, the type of bodybuilding I do is uh, not lifting heavy weights, but it depends on posing and on my appearance as a model. Shall I, I shall go and get the good for G string? But the, the, one, the one I've been wearing since then is a nice reddish coloured with a, a quite a good sheen on them. Those are the ones I was looking for. I can show you my trampolining at Leotard as well if you like. I started competing in 2012. In 2013, I entered the Australian national titles in the 80 plus division at that stage. And the nearest other competitor to myself was more than 10 years younger than me. I've done a number of other Australian competitions and I've also done a few international competitions. And again, I've been the only one in my age division. I'm the world natural bodybuilding champion in my age group. This one is the trophy I won in Slovakia in 2014 in a world competition. I have since competed in other world competitions and they're buried in all these other trophies. Six months ago, I fell over, I hurt my back again and I decided I'd better go to the hospital and have an x-ray. In the testing, they found I had bowel cancer. So instead of spending Perhaps a few hours in the hospital, I ended up staying there for five weeks. And they put me on uh, chemotherapy, and at the end of five weeks, they decided that I was right to go home again, look after myself. It was four weeks since I left the hospital, and uh, I'm only doing about half the number of exercise sessions at a very low level at the moment. I still haven't got back to normal sporting activities, which I'm hoping to do next year. My preparation for bodybuilding meant that my cancer, I was told, cured very easily. Not only that, the whole time I took no painkillers or anything like that because I wasn't in pain. As far as I'm concerned, as soon as I've recovered, I'm going to start competing again. I hope to defend my Queensland titles, my national titles, and my world titles. Now, there have been a few centenarians in paleobotany, so I've got something to compete for. And as far as bodybuilding is concerned, I don't think I've been any centenarians, or even 90-year-olds, or for that matter, 80-year-olds. After all, I only have to keep going for another eight years till I hit the century mark, so why stop?
we go. I'm looking forward to being able to go on for quite a number of years yet. I've got enough fossil material without collecting any more to last me 15 to 20 years. Because I find that when I go to a locality, collect specimens, in a week I get enough material to work for about two years. So I just keep on accumulating more and more stuff that I hope to get around to someday. Someday I'm going to die and when I do, I'm going to leave a lot of specimens that someone else has to work on. My future goal in science is to keep making discoveries and making some magnificent discovery that will make me famous. <laughs>